right, everyone. In this video, we're gonna be teaching you a variety of activities that you can do at home that emphasizes on object control skills. The equipment we'll be using is balloons, a variety of socks, as well as a laundry basket to use as a goal target. For safety purposes, we wanna make sure we're away from anything fragile or expensive while participating in these skill sets. For the balloon, we're gonna work on kicking, striking, some striking activities, and balloon batting. For the socks, we're gonna work on catching, overhand throwing, underhand toss, as well as shooting, similar to how we would in basketball. In the next video, Coach John is gonna to demonstrate to us our first balloon activity. So stay tuned and enjoy. Hi friends, Coach John here. Today I'm gonna to show you some striking skills we can practice at home. We're gonna be using a balloon, uh, the more inflated or the bigger your balloon is, the more it's going to float in the air and give you more time to react. The smaller the balloon, the quicker it will drop to the ground. Um, so for our beginning uh, students, I would recommend using a bigger balloon. If your student has limited mobility, I would recommend tethering the balloon or tying a string on one end and then either taping it or attaching it to the ceiling. That way the balloon doesn't travel as far and allows our friends with limited mobility to be more successful. Um, here are some of the activities we can practice. We can use our hands to maintain a rally, to keep that balloon up in the air. Okay, I can use my knees, I can use my feet, I can use my head, or I can use a foam noodle, something like this. So instead of using a racket, I can use this to maintain a rally too. These are just a couple of things we can work on our, our practice our striking skills. Um, I'll, I'll go into more detail later and show you some games and activities you can play. Thank you, friends. We'll see you soon. Hey, everyone. Now we're going to focus on our catching activity. First, I'm going to use a larger sock to make it a little bit easier in the beginning. We're first going to be using two hands at all times. I'm going to toss the sock up with two hands, and I'm going to try to catch it with two hands. We're going to do that three times together. Ready? Here we go. Preparation, position, toss, and catch one. And one, and two. One more time. And three. Perfect. Now we're going to use a medium sized sock to make it a little bit more challenging. This time we're going to toss it with one hand and then try to catch it with two. All right? So we're going to do those three times. Ready? Toss up with one hand, catch with two. And toss up with one hand, catch with two. That's number two. Last one. Toss up with one hand. Catch it too. Perfect. That's number three. Our last one, we're going to use some smaller socks. This time, we're going to toss with one hand. We're going to try to catch it with the other hand. So, one hand to one hand. All right? So, let's try it. Here we go. Ready? And toss and catch. Now, on this side, toss and catch. Here we go. One more. Ready? Toss and catch. Great job. Now we're gonna go into our other skill set. Hi friends, Coach John here. I'm gonna show you some kicking skills you can practice at home. Today we're gonna to be using a balloon that is tethered. So I tied a string around the balloon. That just kind of helps me maintain control of the balloon so I don't have to chase it around the house. First skill I'm gonna show you today is our dribbling skills. So just like in soccer, I'm gonna have my balloon or ball on the ground and I'm just gonna practice my short little kicks in a forward direction and I go back and forth all over the house, okay? Second skill we're gonna work on is our power kicks. So if I have my balloon on the ground, I'm working on a penalty kick, or I just wanna kick that balloon as hard as I can. I want my balloon on the ground, and I'm gonna step and plant my non-kicking foot, kick that balloon, and follow through to the target, okay? So my balloon's on the ground, I'm gonna step, plant, and kick, and follow through to the target. Okay, the last skill I'm gonna show you right here is called our drop kick. So if I'm the goalie and I need to kick the ball, what I'm gonna use is a drop kick. So I have the balloon with two hands. I'm gonna step, drop, and kick that balloon. Okay, one more time. I'm gonna take the balloon, step, drop, and kick. So these are just three kicking skills you can practice at home, which will hopefully translate into soccer skills. So you can practice your dribbling, your power kicks, or your drop kicks. Thank you, friends, for watching. Hey, everyone, now we're gonna work on the overhand throw. As you can see, I have a hula hoop as our target. You can also use a wall to make it more visual. You can tape the wall into a square or as an X for your target. 
Now, once I'm ready, I'm gonna pick up my sock. I'm gonna step with my opposite foot. I'm gonna use my opposite hand and point to my target. Then, place the object near my ear. Once I'm ready to throw, I'm going to lean forward. As I release, I wanna make sure that my hand is on the follow through. Plus, I wanna make sure my arm is passing the midline of my body. So I'm gonna do one example and then we're gonna do four together. Ready? Here we go. Step, point, ear, throw. Now we're gonna do four together. Ready? Here comes the first one. Step, point, ear, throw. Back to the starting point and step, point, ear, throw. And step, point, ear, throw. Last one. Step, point, ear, throw. Great work. Hi friends, Coach John here. I'm gonna show you some badminton skills you can practice at home. Badminton is a really fun game. It's typically played with a birdie and with a racket, but since we're playing indoors, I would recommend using a balloon and a foam noodle. Um, the, the skills we want you to practice in badminton, the first one is going to be tracking the balloon with our eyes, watching where the balloon goes, and the second thing is moving or adjusting our body to get to the right space so that we can hit that balloon and maintain a rally. Okay, so if you are playing by yourself, I would recommend um, trying to do a rally. A rally is trying to see how many times you can hit the balloon in the air before it hits the ground. So you can kind of set a goal for yourself. I'm gonna try to hit it 10 times before it hits the ground. If you get to 10, then just kind of raise that goal and keep working hard, okay? So if I'm doing this, I'm gonna practice my kind of underhand, keep it up in the air. I could do a forehand swing, backhand swing, or even the overhead striking motion like that, okay? If you are having a hard time uh, making contact or maintaining a consistent rally, I would recommend tethering the balloon. So putting a string on the balloon and either taping it or attaching it to the ceiling. That way when you hit the balloon, it doesn't travel as far. So that allows our friends to be more successful, especially if you have lower mobility, okay? Um, if you have friends in the house that would like to play with you, that would be great. Uh, if you have a partner, I would recommend kind of standing a couple feet apart using a foam noodle or your hands, whatever you have available, and just practicing make, making that rally and, and working together to see how many times you can, you can uh, strike it without it hitting the ground, okay? If you would like, but with your partner, you could put a couch between you or a chair, something to kind of give you a makeshift net. That way you're hitting it over the net, just like you would be doing a traditional badminton. If you have a family, a group, this is great activity to play together. It allows kids, adults, people of all ages to do this together and be successful. Um, I would recommend either getting in a circle and just maintaining a rally to see how many times you could hit it up in the air, or like I mentioned previously, is putting a couch or chairs, something in the way to make a net and practice hitting it over the net. So I hope you're able to use these badminton skills and practice at home. Badminton is a super fun game and I just hope you guys can keep playing and working on those badminton skills at home. Thanks again, friends. See you soon. All right, friends, now we're gonna try the underhand toss. As you can see, I have a laundry basket now as a target. Now, I'm gonna pick up my sock First thing I want to do is I want to make sure that my belly button is facing the target. Then, very similar to the overhand throw, I'm going to step with my opposite foot, then place my hand back, and then toss upward to make sure the palm is facing upward to the sky. All right, so we're going to do one as an example, and then we're going to do four together. All right, ready? So belly button facing the target, step, hand back, and palm facing the sky, while the sock goes into the one basket. All right, so now we're gonna go with number two. All right, so here we go, ready? Step, and back, palm facing up. Number three, here we go. Step, and back, belly button facing target, toss upward. Okay, so we got two more, here we go, ready? Step, and back, a good cue to have for this one would be a TikTok method. So you would step, tick, going with back, top, going forward. That's the other hand toss. Good job.
Hi friends, Coach John here. I'm going to show you a couple striking games you can play at home. If you're by yourself, I'd recommend just trying to maintain a rally, trying to see how many times I can hit that balloon in the air before it hits the ground. You can do this using your hands, your elbows, your head, your feet, your knees, all your different body parts to maintain that rally. And again, we're going to want to work on tracking the balloon with our eyes and moving our body and making adjustments. Uh, if you have a friend to play with, I would recommend standing a couple feet apart and just practicing keeping up that balloon in the air, maintaining a rally. And you can do that using your feet again, your hands, you could use a, uh, a foam noodle, whatever you feel like playing. And if your whole family wants to play, it's great. Uh, my family loves playing badminton in the house. Um, this game works for people of all ages, ability levels, and really allows everybody to be successful, even the little ones. Um, so you could either make a circle and maintain a rally that way, or you could kind of divide it and make a makeshift net using a couch, chairs, something just to divide the group in half and work on hitting it back and forth. Uh, you can keep score by saying every time the balloon hits the ground on one side, the other team gets a point. That way you can make it a little competitive if you want to do that with your family. So these are just a couple suggestions, but I really enjoy playing with balloons in the house, and I think you will too. Uh, Coach Payne is going to come up next. We're going to try the shooting activity. Our laundry basket is going to be the same target as before, but this time for the shooting activity, we're going to focus on four parts, and it's called beef. Balance, balance in the knees. Elbow, facing the target with your palm up. Eyes, always looking at the target. And then on the release, good follow through. Gives it a good rotation, it gives you a better opportunity to get the sock into the basket. All right, so I'm gonna try one by myself, and then we're gonna do four together at home. All right, ready? Balance, elbow facing, palm up, eyes looking at it, follow through. Now we're gonna try four, so here's number one. Ready? Balance, elbow, palm up, eyes, and follow through. And balance. Elbow, eyes, follow through. We got two more. Balance, elbow, eyes, follow through. And last one. Ready? Balance, elbows, eyes, and follow through. Perfect. Great job, everyone. Hi, friends. Coach John here. Thank you for trying these different balloon and sock activities with us today. We hope that you can find a couple different activities you can practice with your family at home. A um, couple safety things to keep in mind. Always make sure to talk with your parents or guardians in terms of playing these activities at home, um, making sure that you have a safe area to use. Um, you know, you don't want to damage any furniture, knock over any lamps. So always make sure you talk to your parents or guardians to make sure if it's a safe place to play. Another thing is balloons are a great indoor activity, but sadly they don't work very well outdoors. They tend to pop or blow away in the wind. So if you're going to try these balloon activities, I would recommend trying them in the house, okay? Um, some of the balloon activities you can do, like we went over today, you can work on your striking skills, your kicking skills, your badminton or racket skills. Uh, with the socks, we can practice our shooting, our throwing, our catching, our tossing skills. Um, just a lot of different things we can practice at home. Now a lot of these skills we showed you at home kind of help translate and transition into uh, bigger sport activities that you can do. Whether it be soccer or badminton or basketball, these are some of the pre-skills to help you in those sports and activities. Well friends, thank you so much for joining us today. We hope you learned a little bit. Um, if you'd like to watch any more of our videos, please just go to youtube.com and type in Santa Ana APE. Thank you, friends. Keep working hard and have a great summer. We'll see you soon.